All right, let's check out this property here. It's about three and a half acres. A little under. Let's check it out. It's got three different parcels. Now, the smallest parcel would be this corner unit here. It's a block structure. This was a pawn shop at one point. It was um, gun. They did like gun classes and like concealed weapons classes here. And prior after that, then there was a guy that was doing statues. He was doing pretty good. I actually met the guy. Um, There's the first parcel and the smallest one. See? That used to be a pool there where you see the cone. This is the smaller section. It's um, a little under half acre. It's like four tenths of an acre. It's a lot of bamboo there. If it all gets removed, this is basically playing the role of a privacy fence. So if those bamboos go, that's US Highway 19 right there great for commercial now the property line goes all the way back to a fence that's in the middle of those bamboos as well there's a company on the other side is a well it's a motel actually so there's a motel on the other side this property here goes from that fencing there that you see the brown one and it comes here there's the metal pole right here And a flag, yep, right there. So it's directly everything to the left of me. It's one parcel, one property. And it's the one with the block structure. Now let me walk back here. This is walking into the second parcel. Uh, they have trailers, RVs here. Then you have the corner store here, 7-Eleven. You know. These guys here in the RV, they've been here for 30 plus years. So I'm sure they're not going anywhere. We're currently in the second lot right now. A lot of storage containers. At one point, there were over 40 containers here, which were removed um, little by little after the situation with the pandemic and the corona and people started scattering everywhere. They have a taco place out there. I'll be taking you to it shortly. See tacos. And then the property goes all the way back there. It's pretty much woods. And it goes to a tough wall. It's like 15 feet tall at least. It's 12 to 15 at least. And um, it's a huge wall. We'll get to it in a second. I don't want to go through the woods, but through the woods, it'll take you all the way to the wall. All right. Now over here, these people have been here for quite a while as well. There's currently two tenants there. RV and mobile. This is gravel here that they're going to be using for this. You know, this is horrible when it gets rained on and stuff like that. It's like muddy, sandy mud type of situation. Good space. Almost four acres. These are um, the junket plugs. 
I mean, um, Junket Plus, and they're currently paying for each individual unit. They pay a monthly fee to be parked here. And we have more gravel here and stuff. You see here, I can see the wall. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see, it's right over here. That's a wall. Currently zoomed in. Now let's walk this way. There's a property line. Oh, sorry. I forgot to show you guys the property line for the second property. This, this is the second property line where it splits. You know, and it goes all the way through to the front. And then it goes all the way through that way. And everything to the right second property line then this way is the third property line or a third actual property is a one package deal by the way so see a lot of truckers come here and um, park their trucks and stuff but most of them get picked up first thing in the morning you see you can see the tracks those are trucks leaving the property. We have trucks. Uh, it's funny, this guy here with this trailer he lives in New York and he's been out there for over 20 years. He's been paying rent ever since the whole time, monthly rent. Has only came here twice and literally had a drink or two with the owner, left. Still hasn't removed, still paying his monthly. If it was me, I would have just told him to keep it. I would not pay a monthly payment to keep this anywhere. That's an extra expense, guys. Now, let me walk you to the wall so that you can get a close-up picture. See? Brick wall. Now, on the other side of this wall is a U-Haul. So U-Haul, you know what they do? They rent out their locations. It's like garages, basically. So you know they're not going anywhere. You know how U-Haul does. They buy, build storages, and never move. Now, the property line goes to the pink flag out there. I can't see it for some reason. There's literally a pink flag right there. Oh, there it goes. That's where the property flag goes to. Property line. The phone wasn't capturing it for some reason. See? Right there. There's definitely some kind of animal here. And I don't want to find out what it was. But I heard it. See? passage down that way but like I said I heard an animal so I'm not going that way
This is definitely a good place for dry storage. Dry outdoor storage. You know. Or we could be U-Haul's competition. We could see everything that they have available and see what they're willing to offer and not. And then we can always beat it, you know. Now, they did have a problem here where they had to evict somebody, which involved calling the uh, cops and everything. But they got them out of here. And I'll be getting to there in just a second. Wouldn't want to leave out any facts. Right here is one, it belongs to a lady. She comes here once every five years. She's had it here forever. The guy told me that looks after the property that literally when she comes, she doesn't even open the door. So he wonders why she even comes. So that's weird. All right. Here's the taco place. I just ate there. I had me three tacos. I had me a uh, carnecita. I had me one uh, al pastor and a chicken taco. They were all great. Once again, this is the dumpster rental people. Each each dump trailer that they have, they're called rollovers. So each rollover that they have, they have to pay additional rent for. Um, there's another manufactured home frame house it's got like a weird structure because it's got blocked it's definitely blocked i don't know why the guy called it trailer when it's blocked well it's a tiny block trailer i guess now this is where they had the eviction situation going which i will take this whole thing down and this would have to go bye bye. Come on in too. I'm not going in there. Worst come on in one if this is two. Alright, and remember the, the one I showed you guys earlier, this block structure? 7-Eleven, prime location, can't go wrong. They have the catamaran here. Pretty cool. And this is the dump, guys. <laughs> 